Hi, brothers and sisters. Um, my brother and I were uh, fellowshipping and passing out um, our tracks, the gospel tracks. And we, I was telling him about the word beguiled, that I had done a video and we were talking about beguiled. And then I noticed the Bible was open to no guile right here in Revelation 14. And it says, in their mouth was found no guile. So that's a deceit. For they are without fault before the throne of God. That's because we're in the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, the Lord of in heaven and so he has no fault before God so we are in him so we have no fault but the thing about deceit that God has revealed to us if you go and watch my videos about beguiled um, it is uh, also look up the word guile it's cunningness and craft it's a crafty way it's um, it's similar to beguiled and I believe that he is revealing to us the false Christs of the big mainstream churches use entertainment and a beguiling uh, uh, hypnos hypnotic type state. They use uh, smooth words for itching ears. They use uh, guile. They don't use the word of God because the word of God is, is how faith comes. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. If you're mixing uh, the world's words with God's word, you're, you're, you're adding or taking away from his word. And um, we need to not come from that spirit, brothers and sisters. Um, we point to the word of God and all of it. We point to the, the whole fact that the whole word is, is spoken of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. And notice that it says, uh, um, they came saying, they have the, first of all, I saw the angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach. So these angels are, are, are speaking through these people who have no guile. They're in Christ. They're in, in the Son. And by faith, they've been born again. You have to be born. Not every, I just met someone on the street who said everybody has the Holy Spirit. And that's a false spirit speaking. Not everybody has the Holy Spirit. You must believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins. His blood is for the remission. You must believe on the name Jesus, Jesus Christ um, in order to receive the Holy Spirit sealing the, the um, portion that he gives um, uh, to us sealed um, with the promise because he says that he gives us a deposit of the Spirit. And the deposit promises that he's going to come for his possession. That means that we become his possession in Christ. We become his. And not everybody is his. So this whole idea that everybody has the Holy Spirit is, is false. They can say everybody has a spirit. They can say that, but not all spirits are of God, right? They, they, can, be, they can be living because the life is from God, but their words, the words they're speaking can be from another spirit. And I'll tell you how. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. That's 1 John 4, 3. God had me do that and add that to this the um, tracts that I had. So the everlasting gospel to preach. The everlasting gospel that they're preaching is 1 Corinthians 15 1 through 5 that Christ died for our sins. He's the Messiah. Nobody else is um, That he came in the flesh He died on the cross on the tree the two trees put together makes a cross Anyone who speaks against that is an enemy of the cross it says in the Bible Preaching that he was buried and three days later and three nights later he re resurrected from the dead and That he he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures and that he appeared to Cephas then to the 12, and then to 500 plus people. He appeared to a lot of people. So basically, they're preaching that that everlasting gospel. That's the the gospel of grace. That is the true gospel. Um, they're not adding to it, making it about man, but they're making it about God who came in the Son of Man, who was the Son of Man. Um, and so... That's the everlasting gospel to preach. From the very beginning in Revelation, the whole word speaks of the Messiah, who is also the word of God. And the word was with God, and the word was God. So we know that Jesus is God. So, and 
they speak to everyone, every nation and kindred and tongue and people. This is on YouTube all over the world. People out on the streets preaching the true gospel. I believe this is the time we're in. Saying with a loud voice, fear God. Now trumpets are loud. So these are trumpets speaking. Fear God and give glory to him. For the hour of his judgment is come. And worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. And it goes on. But God showed my brother and I um, on this same, this same little talk we were having. We were reading the song of Moses. So at the very end, the song of Moses is very clear. And I want to make sure everyone sees this. And they, say, they sang the song of Moses, the servant of God. And the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works. Thy works. Pay attention whenever it says it. Lord God Almighty, just and true are thy ways. Thou, King oops, sorry, of Saints, capital K, who shall not fear thee? Lord, and glorify thy name, for thou only art holy. Huh, this is huge. Notice it's all singular. Thy, thy, thou. For all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. All right. It's his judgment, thy, and it's his, he is the almighty. And the song of Moses is being sung right now, brothers and sisters. It is exciting because right after that, after the, the, the true gospel is preached to all the world, not the gospel of progressive sanctification, that is not true. It's your saint, you are sanctified. The apostles spoke to the people who were sanctified not being sanctified you are sanctified and then the word can cleanse you your outer cup but first you need the inner cup to be holy so that the outside can be holy but you must first believe the true gospel the everlasting gospel that is preached just like the apostles they followed christ well they were saved because they believed jesus was the christ they were saved instantly. Then they were taught, and then he breathed life onto them, and they were born again. See, Jesus has to breathe life into you in order for you to be born again of his spirit. And then, after you're born again, he has chosen specific people to do specific works. Now, though they're still of the free woman. They're free. But God had chosen them from the foundation of the time uh, to do a specific work, work at the end time. Or maybe just like Noah, he built an ark, he was chosen. God knew he would believe him. God knew that he would believe Christ, that there was a flood coming. So Noah built the, the ark. He told people, get on the ark. The flood's coming. He believed God when God said the flood's coming. In the same way we are telling people the everlasting gospel to, and, and saying you need to be on the Ark of the Covenant, which is Jesus Christ. The new covenant is with Christ. He is the Messiah that you must be in, the Christ risen, the Christ dead for your trespasses, um, blood shed for the, your trespasses, and sin offering, and in Christ risen to live newness of life to be part of his possession, to be sealed with the promise, a deposit, so that when he comes for us, he's going to come for his possession because um, you belong to him once you believed on the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, but not another Jesus, the Jesus Christ of Nazareth that the, the, um, the apostles preached in 1 Corinthians 15. That gospel that saves by which you stand the everlasting gospel. If you preach another gospel, it says, let you be accursed. Let them be accursed. If, the, if an angel brings you another gospel, another gospel than the one that we, that we are 
that we are told to share with the world and um, know that um, when you're sealed, it's a done deal. You cannot be unborn once you're born again. I don't believe um, people really understand. You can be handed over to Satan for the destruction of your bodies and not partake in the in the um, first fruits. Notice these are the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. These ones had no guile. They're preaching the true gospel, right? And they are loud. They're not, oh, they're not soothsayers. They're not using guile. They're not soothsaying. If you look at the, the definition for guile and the definition for beguiled, it is entertainment. It looks good. It sounds good. It's smooth. It's soothsaying. It's um, hypnotizing, beguiled means. So these people are speaking a false gospel and saying, you know, you need to do this, this, and this. Uh, yes, we, they'll say, oh, yeah, we're all about faith saves, but you're going to do this, this, and this. That's not, that's adding to the truth. That's adding. Once you're saved, then you can do the, the work as the Holy Spirit guides you. Because who wins the war? The Holy Spirit. What is the Holy Spirit? The words of God given by a living spirit. Not the dead letter because the dead letter can kill. Anyone can pick up a doctrine. But the doctrine of Jesus Christ is specific and it's very clear. But soothsayers, beguiling people, deceitful people who say, oh, everybody has the Holy Spirit. Oh, coexist. That is a deceitful, lying spirit. Denying the Lord who bought them, as it said in the epistle of Jude. Those are, are very deceitful workers of the word. And they are using the word to bring false, um, false peace. Certain men crept in unawares who were before ordained of this condemnation ungodly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ so they they don't they deny him at the end they're basically saying no I'm Jesus everyone is Jesus everyone's the Holy Spirit everyone's Christ that is a false spirit brothers and sisters and so he says in in five I will therefore put you in remembrance Though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. Brothers and sisters, this is a pretty serious thing that we're getting into. And, and these men, you know, they've, they have the error of Balaam. They ran after the, the way of Cain and ran greedily after the error of Balaam. Sorry, uh... Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedily after the error of Balaam, but Balaam for reward and perished in the gainsaying of Kor. And it goes on and talks about these spirits of, of and, and, and people, like demons can be people too. Um, so it's very clear there is only one holy spirit that saves us one body one christ which is the one who died and shed his blood for us um christ and him crucified for the remission of your sins not you crucifying your pineal gland third eye that's all another gospel that's another way and so jesus has come the lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment on all and to convince all and he executes judgment see the next ver next scripture is the book of revelation and the next book is the book of revelation where he gives a rebuke a reproof a correction to all of the churches which church are you in i hope you're in the philadelphia church which puts their trust and their faith in the finished work of god where is the philadelphia church um, because he basically, see, we overcome by the blood of the lamb. It says that so clearly in the word of God, we overcome by the blood of the lamb. So, um, I hope you guys read the seven churches, the, the word that Jesus has, because he did say 
that the time is at hand, which means it is now. Right there, time is at hand, which means it's now, brothers and sisters.